Uh, what's up, uh, Twiziri? Um, you're asking about voice cloning for the software we released today called uh, Vitz API. I'm so happy that you asked. Um, we're, we're building voice cloning, it's coming soon. But this is the cheapest, lowest latency API of all time. Um, I'm gonna do the Spanish voice, but I have Albanian. I've got more languages actually than any other cloud provider and we're the cheapest price for any other cloud provider. So for Spanish, it's... Uh, Vuelvo a casa, a mi amada tierra, la que vio nacer mi corazón aquí. Uh, yo soy el mari... Uh, el grande maricón. Yo soy el grande maricón. Not bad, it's got my stamp of approval. So if you are a developer and you use text-to-speech APIs, uh, we make the cheapest one, the fastest one, and the most amount of languages. Even faster, cheaper, and better than uh, Azure, Google Cloud, and um, Amazon. So we're actually 90% off most of those guys. Um, the quality isn't maybe comparable to 11 Labs, but it's still 99% off. And if you need low latency, you can see our latency is 100 50 milliseconds, the latency of our rivals is like a full second or something, so it's kind of useless. So 86 languages, that's more than every single other company. We we um, calculated that very painstakingly. In fact, I can show you the, uh, quickly, I know not everyone's interested in this, but real quick, um, you can see that to, to synthesize the first paragraph of Moby Dick, our program can do that in 800 milliseconds. Um, and this startup called Google does it in twice the time. And another small company called Microsoft does it um, three times faster or three times slower, as does uh, the other Amazon product. And then when you look at these real brand new companies like OpenAI, they're, they're just too slow. I, I wouldn't use them um, for fast, you know, a fast product. And then they don't have any languages. Like we have the most languages and these, these pesky startups, these upstarts, just don't have the languages. And look at the price, it's crazy. The price is legit. I, I have it over here somewhere. Look at the price difference. 75% off, just two products, and then everything else is like 80, 90% off. I mean, you need more decimals to see how much, like 99.0, 99.4. Like, I don't know why you would use those other products because ultimately you can't scale if you have a lot of users. It's good to make one audio file, but if you need to make millions of custom audio files, you really can't do that with 11 Labs or PlayHT. Um, $180 for a million characters, you'll go broke. Even if they, they reduce their price to like $30, $30 it's still not good enough. And uh, we, we're trying to get our price even lower. You know, they never used to price in price per million characters. We did that. It used to be price per thousand characters. Now we do price per million. Soon we'll do price per billion. You know, they don't like that, the sound of that. I don't care. I'm here to take your software, make it cheaper, give it to the people. It's a different Screlly. <laughs> just be careful. I could always raise the price. Um, I don't think we'll do that, but I'm just kidding. All right, let's look at the Q1 for NVIDIA. They said they'd do 11, and they did 13. So last two quarters, they beat by 2 billion each. And they look, I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like they're gonna do that again. There's nothing that's changed in AI, from what I can tell, that they should be doing, they shouldn't be doing that, right? Uh, your margin is my opportunity. Thank you, David Lee. Um, Scarly back in the office? Scarly stay in the office, man. I was here until 2 a.m. last night. I got home to my cat Nibbles at 2.30. She was crying. Mew, mew, mew. Why did you come home so late? I gave her some tuna. I patted her head. That was it. I went to sleep. Um, we, uh, we spun down our game. We spent a little bit of money on that, but we it didn't meet our milestones, so... We kill software very fast here, so if we do a project and it doesn't meet like very, very tough milestones, we kill it. And so I'm really happy that, um, you know, we've worked that out. Uh, there should be no adults filter, but you know, I'll talk to you about that uh, operatic later. That's a really uh, cool idea. Um, all right, so yeah, no, no game. We were making a game that used AI to showcase kind of some of our technologies 
and maybe I'll pick it up again, but like we refactored it to Unity and I don't really know Unity that well. And you know, it, it kind of got spun out of scope very fast. Um, so if I start it over, I'm gonna do it again. We did close a financing round. Uh, A16Z was not, not involved in that round. But some very famous investors uh, invested. Very happy, very proud of our team for being able to attract some of the best investors in the world. Uh, crypto token for AI. Like, look, I mean, we'd love to, but there's no real common sense way to do that, from what I can tell. Crypto and AI don't really mix that so great. It'd be nice to have, like, compute you could do with crypto, maybe, but there's companies like Salad that do compute, obviously Lambda and others that you can get compute if you need it. It's just very expensive. And Salad is a company, Salad.com, that's renting out GPUs, consumer consumer GPUs. So you can actually sign up with them. They should be paying me an advertisement right now. Um, but if you sign up with salad.com, what you do is you can rent out your NVIDIA gaming GPU and you can make a couple hundred bucks an hour, which is kind of neat. Um, like I said, if the salad guy is watching, you owe me one, man. You owe me some free GPUs on, on some bullshit. All right. <laughs> All right, so they beat that by a mile. Let's look at the guidance for the quarter they didn't beat by a mile. That might be interesting, right? They said they do 6.50. Um, Josh asks a good question. Why do our competitors charge so much uh, for such a high latency? I'm really glad you asked that, and I'm really sorry you guys who don't care about my TTS product. Uh, text-to-speech if you want to make an app and you want it to have audio like for example all these LLMs that spit out all that language content all that text they should go to audio um, because people hate reading <laughs> um, we almost call the company TLDR because people really don't like large amounts of text when we uh, launched Dr. Gupta that's what we found that's why we made our own TTS because we found these guys to be too expensive so the reason these guys are expensive is because they have a very high quality product called Tortoise. Now we're coming out with something even better than Tortoise, much faster, much cheaper. So when we're ready with that, these companies are basically dead. It's game over. Um, in the meantime, we're putting out qualities, uh, models that aren't are high quality. They're not as high quality as these guys, but they're pretty good. And again, for these guys, they're really good if you want to make one file. If you want to make one audio file, you know, they're a good product. But if you want to make audio files for 100,000 users on a website, you just can't use them. Now, the reason, so these guys are just in outer space with their product pricing, right? Um, now, I think we're really competing with the cloud guys, which I'm highlighting uh, here. Amazon, Google, Azure, uh, Amazon has a couple models. And you can see that their prices are a lot closer to ours. In fact, Google and Amazon are at four dollars for a million characters and their latency is quite good i mean amazon technically has faster latency than us and we're uh, rolling out a cdn network so we know a couple of hops that we can remove i think we can get to 50 milliseconds uh and beat amazon and google but right now we're at 150 milliseconds at least from a new york server we're going to add a california server and then we're going to remove maybe some of the other hops that it has to make and maybe we get to 80 or 50 something like that. But the languages thing is also pretty important. Like we have 86 languages. We got Nigerian Pidgin, Hausa. We got uh, uh, languages you've never heard of. Um, you know, Talk Pisin. We've got, um, you know, uh, Tswana, which is spoken in Botswana. Uh, we've got languages like Kurundi. Um, you know, and of course we've got German and French and English and all that. But, uh, you know, that's kind of the, uh, the situation. So anyway, um, you know, I think our rivals have just like somewhat normal pricing, but we're just coming in and totally undercutting them. 75% uh, off Google and Amazon, same, same latency basically, but more languages. So that's our kind of way to compete. Now, these guys, as you can imagine, they have a vested, they have a, they have a captive audience. I mean, if you're on AWS for S3 or EC2, if you're on Google Cloud for their versions of that, you know, you just point and click and you got a new TTS product. It's a lot easier than adding another vendor. So I think they have their enterprise clients and, you know, we, we sort of have to get name recognition that they already have. So anyway, here NVIDIA guided to 6.5 billion. 
versus 7.2 uh, in actual. And so that was a smaller beat, and that was kind of before the H100 ship. When was the H100 first shipment? Let's take a look at that. 